Hey everybody, this is Brian from Carving is Fun, and I have some knives from a new tool maker that I want to show to all y'all. You literally just started, but they're really, really nice knives. All handmade knives. I think they're just really nice, comfortable. They slice right through the wood really well. They're really well put together. They're all made by Silvern Works, which is made by Ken Silvern. Uh, he's just a one-man operation right now, but he's got a great foundation for where he has his knives out. These are his uh, first runs that he's he sent out to me, and he plans on doing this long term. At the moment, he has the capacity to do like 50 of these a, a week, he says. That's just for starting off. He might be able to do more later, and also he has more tool options to choose from that he wants to make later on. These are his current run. This one is like an initial prototype one that he sent me, which is really nice. And it's evolved out to, to these guys right here. But getting to some of the tool specs for it, the steel that he's using is 01 tool steel. But the Rockwell hardness about 60 to 62, which is in a nice upper range of hardness. So you're going to get some good edge retention on these. What I like about this edge grind on it, it's like an apple seed grind, very similar to what you'd see with like your Helvy knives and whatnot. It's easy to maintain. The edges hold up well, so it's not just like a straight flat grind. It's got a little bit of a curvature to it, so it, it holds its edge for a long period of time. Um, he's got Micarta bolsters on there at the, the top for the newer ones. And he was also saying that these colors can change over time and he might change it just to uh, give it a new look every now and then. He has several different blade lengths. He's gonna have like a one inch blade, one and three quarters inch and a two inch roughing knife. All of them are gonna be about a 1 16th of an inch thick which is a nice, very thin knife. It goes right through basswood really well. And he also has several different handles available as well. He might be adding more later, but his main one is the his uh, silver hander, uh, hander, handle. <laughs> it's actually a really nice handle. It fits into like the palm of your hand very nicely. So when you're you're willing, it just it just sits there nice. And then when you're doing any pairing cuts, if you want to do that too, it I feel like it fits in your fingers pretty well so that if you're sitting here and you're trying to do any pairing cuts, um, like your thumb will naturally want to go uh, down here. So and it's a it's a pretty comfortable knife to hold on to. My personal favorite one, which is just what I'm used to, and it fits my hand nicely, which is the oval grip. It is just a slightly more rounded on the top and has like a little bit of a nice tapered edge on the bottom, but it fits your hand pretty nicely. And then he has just a regular oval handle for those of us with larger hands. It fits the hands really nicely. Very nice and comfortable knife. But he's just starting on doing these. He's just getting into making these in mass production mode kind of deal. So he's improving his processes as he goes along. This is literally the very beginning of his little knife company here. So I think they're really, really good knives. People I've had test them out to like them as well. They're comfortable. They hold their edge well. They cut through basswood really well. He's going to continue improving his process. He's going to probably make, be making more later, more handle styles, more blade styles. And he eventually wants to make like V tools and whatnot too. So yeah, these knives are really, really nice. They cut right through the basswood pretty dang well. And this one, this is like my harder basswood that I have. And you can see it just, it really does just slice right through it. So definitely give it a shot. I think they're priced really, really well for what they are especially since they're like higher end handcrafted uh, whittling knives. Great knives. Um, give it a shot. I'll have the link in the description below to go check one out. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one.